Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you step by step how to create a Flywheel account and also how to install WordPress. If you are interested in building your own WordPress website, I also have a course which will teach you step by step from start to end on how to create and manage a WordPress website. So I will also link that in the show notes below. So without wasting a lot of time, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is to sign up for an account. So I'm gonna click on sign up. And now we're gonna fill in this information. So you can choose your username. So I'm just gonna choose that as my username. Okay, so that's my email address. And then here we need to answer this question, who are you? So I'm just a blogger. And then I'm gonna set up my password. And then I'm gonna re-enter the password. And then I have to agree to the terms of services. Okay, so once you've done this, all you have to do now is to click on sign up. Okay, so now we are straight into our dashboard. So we can see that we're in dashboard because we have this option here. Okay, so before I proceed to the next step, uh, I need to check my emails because they normally send you an email after you've registered. So I'm just gonna go to my Yahoo account. And then here we can see we have a, a welcome email from Flywheel. Okay, so this is just for me now to verify my account. So I'm gonna click on verify account. Okay, so now I need to either register this with my credit card or, or via text message. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select my country. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down here until I find United Kingdom. Okay, so here's United Kingdom. And then I'm gonna enter my number and then click on, and then click on send code. Okay, I can see I've received my code, so I'm just gonna enter my code. Okay, so that's my code. So you can see here, the reason why we need to verify is just for them to, um, to ensure that you know, they prevent fraud and abuse. Okay, so I'm gonna click on verify account, but before I do that, if you want to go for the option of a, uh, verifying via credit card, you can go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna click on verify account. Okay, pretty cool. So it's time to create our new WordPress website. So what we're gonna do here is to fill in these details for the WordPress website. So right here, I'm gonna give this website a name. So let's call this WordPress training, like that. And then here we need a temporary domain name. So let's call this WordPress one. Now, sometimes your name could be taken, but don't worry about it. All you have to do is to just keep choosing a different one until you get the one that works. So this, is our temporary domain. So if we go to wordpress1.flywheelsites.com, this is where we're gonna see our website because this is temporary. And by the way, the beauty of this is you haven't paid a penny, you can actually start developing a website without actually paying for anything. But bear in mind that this site will be only active for 14 days. And the good guys at Flywheels, again, you can always email them and ask them for an extension. So, okay, the next step is to add an admin username. Now, the most important thing here to bear in mind is if you use the normal username of admin, you are open to a lot of attacks because a lot of uh, automated attacks out there target websites which have admin as the default username because this is the um, default ad, uh, username that comes with WordPress setups. So here, the best thing you need to do is to either use your name or just use your name and admin at the end of it. Like in this case, I'm gonna use Mac admin, like that as my username, and then I'm gonna enter my password. And again, the password here needs to be very strong, but for now, because of this demo purposes, I'm just gonna use a basic password, which I can just type in as I'm doing the demo. So once you've entered this information, make sure you write it down somewhere because we are gonna be using this to log into the admin dashboard of our website. Okay, so now that we've entered all this information, we need to scroll down and choose the options to pay. So there's two options here. So you can either pay now or my client will pay later. Now, I normally use this option because um, this allows me 14 days to work on the website, okay? Or if you have a bulk plan, you can either, I mean, you can also add it to a bulk plan. So for now, I'm gonna go for this option. So I'm gonna choose a data center. So I'm based uh, here in the UK, so I'm gonna choose Europe. And then I'm gonna launch my demo site. So I'm gonna click once on this button. And what's gonna happen now is WordPress is going to be installed. So as you can see, the process is very easy, very straightforward. We don't need to set up any databases. It's straightforward, we're in, and our website is being installed. So you need to be a bit patient here because this process of setting up the website takes a bit of time. 
Okay, so our website has been installed and this is the uh, URL to the website. So what I'm going to do now is to click this link and then this is going to take us to our website. But we won't be able to see the website straight away until we enter this username and password for because the site is in privacy mode. Okay, now once you've updated your payments, that's when you can simply just disable this. But for now, because it's a temporary website and we haven't paid for this, it just shows up in, priv in, in privacy mode. But it doesn't mean that we don't have access to the website. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy uh, this username and password and then we're going to log in. So I'm going to click this uh, new website that we've just built. And then the username is Flywheel and I'm just going to enter the password. And then I'm going to click on login. And there we go. So this is our website. So that's pretty cool. So that's the website that we've just built. So what we need to do next is to log in and access admin side of our website. So in order for you to do that, you just need to enter a forward slash WP hyphen admin. Okay. Now, this is the stage where I mentioned earlier on that you need your WordPress username and the password which I asked you to write on a piece of paper and that you don't forget. So here, my username is uh, Mac admin. And now just in case you forget your, you forgot your password, all you have to do is to click on lost password and then you can recover it that way. So if you click on lost password, all you have to do here is to enter your email address and then you can reset your password that way. So let's go back to login. My username is Mac admin and I'll just type in my password. So this is the admin side of the website I was talking about. So in the next video, we're going to go into more detail as we explore the admin dashboard of the website. So there you have it. This is how you set up and install WordPress on Flywheel. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And also, if you do decide to go ahead and uh, purchase uh, Flywheel hosting, I'll appreciate if you use my affiliate link, which I'll leave in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you later.